Hello and a very warm welcome back to Bracken Fix. My name's Pete and this is going to be the first fix it video of my channel um, or possibly the first um, watch Pete fail to fix something thing on my channel. We'll see how it goes. Um, here we have a Cora D R650 robot vacuum. Um, I've always wanted one um, and I saw this on eBay and it was £25. Now obviously it's faulty or this would be a really really rubbish fix it video. Um, Apparently, um, basically, if it's not plugged in or if it's not um, docked with its charger, um, there's no power going to it at all. So um, let's have a look and see if we can uh, work out what's going on. L if we're lucky, it will just be um, a case of replacing the battery. Um, of course, it could be the charging board. It could be something way more difficult. Um, but let's uh, take it apart and have a look, I suppose. Okay, so uh, we do have a power button here, actually. Let's uh, do anything. Okay, that's not doing anything. Should I press the button underneath as well? No, nothing. Okay, so um, there's a picture of a battery here. So I'm guessing this is where the battery is. Let's uh, have a look. Actually, it's telling me here. So yeah, so the charger voltage is 19 volts. Uh, the battery is 2,600 milliamp hours. It's quite impressive. Okay. Okay, well, there's the battery. Uh, these are handy. Oh, wow! Look at the size of that. Hang on, let's, um, let's take this out of here. Here we go. So this is a uh, lithium ion battery, 14.4 volts at 2,600 milliamp hours. I mean, that is quite a quite a hefty battery. So let's to start off with, let's um, have a look and see if there's any power in this battery. Um, So it needs 14.4, so we'll set it as that. Ah. Okay, so we can see the, uh, the contacts luckily. So let's put that one there and that one there. And ooh. oh, that means less than a volt. That means is that 930 milliamps. I think that's what that means. Either way, it's definitely not 14.4 volts. Now, the only thing I know about these type of batteries is from my days as having um, remote control aeroplanes and cars. And I'm pretty sure if they drop below a certain voltage, they just go to sleep or just die, basically. And I reckon it's a lot higher than the 93 or oh, 930 milliamp. Right. OK. So. We can assume that might be dead, but then why Why is it dead? Is it dead because it's just been charged too many times or because it was left alone for a long time and it's just the voltage has dropped? Um, okay, so what else could I check? Well, what I need to do is check actually that the when it's connected to the dock here and charging that there's actually power coming to here. So I don't really know how to do that, but... I wonder if if I put the charging dock here and then test here with my multimeter, I wonder if it will show some sort of power. Um, I don't know how much. What is it? Is it, does it say on here? Uh, 19 volts. Okay. Let's try that. So I've got the charging dock here. Just got this light on. Let's check. There's 19 volts coming out of here, I suppose. Oh, what's plus and minus? Does it matter? Uh, let's just touch it and see what happens. 19 volts. Okay, well, that's a good sign. So, if I put this on here, I wonder what will happen. Oh. 
Okay, it's actually beeping. Very quietly, but it is beeping. Okay, so let's test and see how much power is. Oh, ah, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Is it beeping again? Yes, okay, so if I touch that one to there and that one to there. Oh, there we go. So there's some voltage. Oh, it's going down. Isn't that a capacitor thing? Oh dear, that's going down quite fast. Oh. Oh, it's gone back up again. And it started beeping. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe it's trying to cycle and just wait for it to be able to charge. So that makes me think that maybe there is actually, it is able to charge and it might be the battery. But I do have a bench power supply. Um, so why don't I connect these, this to the bench power supply give it 14.4 volts um at 2400 amps no 2400 amps oh god maybe 2.4 amps and see what happens let's try that okay so as you can see i've got my bench power supply set to 14.4 volts at 2.4 um, amps not 2400 um and i've connected it to this Make sure they're not touching. So if I just turn this on, let's see what happens. That's got to be a good sign, right? Okay, so it's actually drawing um, 115 milliamps. And this is beeping, which makes me think ah, that there is light. So. I am just going to take it that what we need is a new battery. So I've looked online um, and they're about £16.50. So I think doing this and testing the battery and testing the fact that actually there is power coming to here when we've got it connected to the to the actual um, charger makes me think that actually we should be okay. I think it's worth a, a punt at sixteen pound fifty. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's get one of those ordered. Um, it's next day delivery, so uh, I'll come back once it's arrived and we'll we'll try again. Okay, we are back and I have had a delivery. Ta da! Um, so it is um exactly the same type of battery. So let's see how much power this one has got. Thanks for it to be fully charged, obviously, but uh, somewhere close would be nice. Let's uh, pop that one in there. That one there. Oh, fan dabby dozy. Okay, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Okay, so other than needing to up my uh, lighting gain, which I promise I will be doing, um, let's see what happens when I press this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I think we can safely say that works. So, in which case, what it was was simply the battery, but um, I'm glad we checked before we just went out and just spent £16.50 randomly. Um, what I'll do is I'll go and find um, some nice floor, um, put it on, and uh, we'll test it, and then we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, um, it does work. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, to be honest with you, whether I'm going to keep it for myself, um, though I think one of my three children will probably try and ride it um, if they see it buzzing around the house. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, quite a brief one today, it has to be said, um, mainly because um, it wasn't quite as broken as I thought it was. But as, like I said before, I'm really glad that we made sure that it actually was the battery before buying it. 
Um, and yeah, I- I'm going to class this one as fixed. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>